So we finally finished Borat, the new one, Borat 2, The Revenge, Borat 2, Civil War. I don't know what it's called, uh, but we finally finished that and great movie, very funny. Uh, just, I, you know, some people were saying it's not as funny as the first one. Well, which sequels are? You know, how many, there's very few sequels that live up to the original. Uh, this one, very funny. If the first one didn't come out and it was only this one, they, people would have laughed as hard at this one as they did the first one. And of course, the world was different in 2006. 14 years ago, the world was very different. We didn't hate each other as much for voting for the other guy. Now everything's tooth and nail and everything's football. Everything is a 16 game schedule where you gotta win all the games cause you gotta make the playoffs. And back in 2006, we had more of a baseball mentality. We had 160 something games. You can lose 50 and still make the playoffs. So we were, I think we as America together were able to laugh at the original Borat. Even if you were on the side that was maybe getting poked fun at, you could find the humor in it because you knew that you didn't have to you know, break political party lines and admit you enjoyed something. But now things are very different. It's us against them, them against us. Rah! And this was the perfect movie to where we could all have a chuckle in our hearts before the Civil War. I was thinking about it. I hope that Americans back in 1861 had something to laugh at before we fought each other for the next four years. I hope. I hope that Union and Confederate soldiers had something, whoever the Bob Hope was back in 1860. So now we have, you know, Sasha Baron Cohen and a bunch of other comedians. But back then, whoever the Bob Hope was of 1861, I hope he had a killer stand-up special that was, you know, typed up and telegraphed <laughs> to all of the soldiers, both on the Confederate and the Union side. And I hope they had a butt-gusting laugh before they went into a five-year war. Because it definitely feels like it's going that way. Very much enjoyed the movie. Uh, I, do, I don't think Rudy Giuliani was playing with his junk. Although it looked that way. I think that's just how old people tuck their shirts in. And I'm not a fan of Mr. Giuliani. Just in case anyone's thinking I'm saying that because of that. I'm not a fan of the guy. But I used to work at a retirement home. And so I've watched old people adjust their clothes in the most creative ways possible. And that's, I think that's just how old people tuck their shirts in. Was he creepy? Yeah, he came off creepy. Old men talking to young women looks creepy all the time. It just does. It just does for whatever reason. Old men, like some, take any dude in their 70s and you have them talk to like a... Uh, a 15-year-old girl or a 20-year-old girl, you're just like, oh, I don't like this. Unless that's your grandfather, I don't approve. And I don't know why, but it's just old dudes come off creepy. It's in their nature. It's just natural. It's their, you know, it's, it's them in their natural habitat. It's just what they look like. So I don't think he was playing with this junk. In the same vein that I don't think... I mean, I don't know for sure, I wasn't on this Zoom call, but Jeffrey Tubin from the, the New Yorker, I believe, he got in trouble uh, because his genitals made it onto a Zoom call. I don't think he did it on purpose. I think he was just too old for technology. And I think that's kind of what happened here. Giuliani was a great example that old men are naturally creepy around young women and Jeffrey, just like Jeffrey Tubin is a great example that eventually we age out of technology. I'm 33 years old, I already feel it. You don't know how many times I have to ask my soon to be 29 year old girlfriend how to do something on my phone, on the computer. How do you screenshot from a laptop? That was a question I asked. How do you screenshot from a Mac? And then she goes, you idiot, it's this and this. And I already forgot it. And I'm 33, so imagine in 30 more years, 63. And I think Giuliani's older than 63. I don't know how old Tubin is, but in 30 more years, as technology advances and I stay this dumb, I'm, my, my butthole and genitalia are gonna end up accidentally 
on some kind of phone call or text message, something's gonna happen. I mean, I'm already sending bare pictures of my buttocks to scammers. You don't think that's gonna come back and bite me in the ass, no pun intended? You don't think that's gonna happen? And, and this is how I, like, this is my proof for it being nonpartisan, my opinion, is I believe Jeffrey Tubin uh, reflects on the left side of politics and Giuliani definitely on the right side of politics. And I think deep down, both these guys were innocent. Giuliani's creepy because Giuliani is an example of all old men around young women. They're creeps, just naturally creepy. Every movement they do is ugh. And it's because they're starting to look like skeletons. That's just what happens. Old men specifically just start to age into their skeleton, but they're still alive, so it's weird. It's like the Crypt Keeper. You know, he'd pop in in the 90s. You'd be like, oh, I'm going to tell you about the show. And you're like, is that guy dead? Is he alive? What's really going on? That's what old men look like. Old women age better, I think. They look less like skeletons in their later, later years. And so Giuliani couldn't help it. He just looks like a creep. And that's how he's got to untuck his pants because he's old, he's got a gut. He doesn't have the spine dexterity that someone like me does or someone like you. So he's got to do it. <laughs> and it looks like he's doing something else. I don't think he was, but Jeffrey Tubin, he's just, he outlived technology. He outlived his understanding of modern technology. Because why would you do it? Why would you do it? What's the point of that? Being on a Zoom call and just... And also, if, if like the people on the Zoom call were offended by it, how long do you stay on? Come on. How long did you... <laughs> I mean, you could just close the laptop and go, I don't want to be a part of this, but you stayed on? At this point, like the way... I think they suspended him, which I guess, you know, he shouldn't be sent to sensitivity training. He should be sent to like a uh, senior citizen, learn to use a computer class. Is that still around? Something like that at a community college where you got to go in and be like, oh, I, I don't know how to do computers good. And then they, you know, slowly walk you through everything. I think he needs that for Zoom. I think that's all he needs. I don't think you meant anything by it. I was thinking about the Jeffrey Tubin thing. He had a Zoom call. He didn't realize he was on it. He thought his camera was muted and his mic was muted. None of that was the case. And then he went on a different tab. And some people say, apparently the story was he was, he was playing with his giblets at the time, maybe watching something on a different screen and he didn't know it. And to put that in perspective, I think what happened to Jeffrey Tubin is kind of the same idea. If you're walking around your house naked and you're picking up something in the back porch, like maybe you're bending over to pick up your cat at the back porch door and then you turn around and you realize your front door is wide open and all the neighbors up across the street just saw up your birth canal. I think that's kind of what happened to him, but on, on, on the computer, in a way, if that analogy makes sense. This could have happened to any one of us. And if you're around my age or younger, this will happen to us, something. My mom is just like your mom. When we FaceTime, it's too close to her face or her eyes are out of it, so I'm just talking to her forehead for some reason. We age out of technology. It's happening. It's happening to me actively. I can't imagine in 30 years, 40 years. In 50 years, I hope I'm dead. But with the way medicine is going, I mean, if we don't find a cure for this corona, maybe that'll take me out. But with the way medicine's going, we're gonna live for a very long time. And every year that I live past where I'm supposed to die, I'm gonna outlive technology and I'm just gonna keep accidentally <laughs> showing off parts that nobody should ever wanna see. Poor Jeffrey Tubin. poor Giuliani. Still a funny movie. See, you can be on both sides. I don't like him politically, but I thought the movie was funny, but I also don't think he was uh, trying to show off his good and plenties to a 15-year-old girl. Say what you will.